Freight is a good first name, but Freightliner apparently is a pretty good, dang good truck here in America. Uh, yeah, so super excited. We are in the Fly J Sim uh, 732 V3 Pro. Ken was your grandfather, so there you go. That the Twitch baby's named. Uh, so yes, we're in the Fly J Sim. 732 V3 Pro today. That's not a bad idea either, JT Kerr. Kenworth Peterbilt Fly. That's not a bad that's not a bad name right there. But Ken for short. <laughs> Super excited about flying this plane today. Um the other thing surrounding the plane here is Dallas, Fort Worth, D DFW. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this Aerosoft DFW has been around for, I don't know, it, it seems like it came out in the spring or maybe early summer, but it just barely became available on the org store, if I'm, if I'm correct. I thought I saw it just released just recently on the org for the first time, but I could be wrong there as well. And uh, really was excited to to take a look at this Dallas Fort Worth, uh, but of course the main focus today is the brand new release of the Fly J Sim Seven Three Two. Disgruntled sailor, good morning. I I'm doing well. R Wilson Trucker Boy. I you know what I don't know. Have you guys tried these uh, Yetis? These uh, Yetis are amazing. Like I made this coffee like an hour ago, and it's still hot. It's it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's got a little lid on it. So yeah, that Yeti's putting me in a good mood. You a little nervous, Steve? Going to start the cat ratings this afternoon? Ah, that is exciting news. I wish you well. You should be streaming them, Steve. We've also got uh, Penguin Runner in the house. Good morning. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her started. So for today's flight, we're going to be flying from Dallas, Fort Worth. In fact, let me test something. I've got this new. Uh, I've got this new stream deck. Um, some of you guys may have seen it. It's a it's an Elgato device that has some buttons on it, and I've been playing around with it. Don't know if maybe you can see it on the pit cam. Just a little warning if uh been if I've been running my pit cam lately. Let's see what happens here. Right there. Um, my other camera freezes up, but it looks like it's doing okay right now. So I'm just going to enlarge this for the moment. Do you guys see this right here? That's the Elgato Stream Deck. And I've been playing around with it. And I think, let's let's test it. So I'm going to hit, I hit one button. It launches, and I'll close it over here. It already did it once. And close that. I'll hit it. You'll, you'll see over here, when I hit this, you'll see on this monitor here, um, well, you guys can't see my cursor, can you? No, you can't. Uh, you'll see on this monitor up here, this one here, when I press a button down down here, <laughs> Navigraph will pop up. So let's hit it. Boom. All right, so hit the button. Navigraph pops up. Now, if I click on this other button that I've set up, boop. That didn't work. <laughs> go back to the mains. Oh yeah, it did work. Okay, left top. Boom. There we go. We have we have Navigraph now. Flying Jackal. Good morning, Jack. So awesome to have you here, my friend. Hello, the Dirts. The Dirts. You are also rocking it on the FS economy for snack air. 
So it's kind of cool that I can just hit these buttons and, and you can see here on this stream deck I'm just hitting these buttons. Now a couple other things like if I bring up let's say bring up the PE map right I just click a button and then I go click the button and boom all of a sudden we're looking at the PE map. That's kind of cool. Back to the main scene. The other thing that it does is oh I can go over to the roulette screen watch this. Oh, we're on the roulette screen. Oh, I gotta fix the camera on the roulette screen there. Must always fix your green screens. So there's the roulette screen. And a beautiful picture of a 732. The other thing I can do is I can go and go back to the main screen. Anyway, it it this stream deck is pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It, uh, yeah. There's a couple other things. Let me catch up with chat here. We got uh, Blake C71, Swedish sim pilot. Saint Wolfric is also beginning the cat ratings. Again, hello to the dirts. Bacon, Lagan. Blake sees in cold Atlanta. Iowa Scotsman, good morning. JT Kerr. Ann Corin D, good morning. XP Pilot, Marcus07. Um, bunch of people coming in. Good morning to Jack. Yes, many people are enjoying the 732. And I'm going to be one of those today. Must ask Cessna Rocks for a Jenna air scheme. I think that would be a good one. Is it for hotkeys for FSX to control views? Um, oh, Stream Deck. You also set up the Stream Deck for hotkeys. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about getting a second one because this one goes to my streaming PC. And a second one I could have on my Sim PC and I could actually launch x-plane and all the different programs from the buttons they're gonna make me lazy that's probably true the, uh, will 42 picked up the 732 today gonna let John fly show me how to fly it I I am learning the plane still two years later <laughs> the 737 looks so amazing says remix waiting for the updates on the 72 yep good morning krill deputy disgruntled sailor Okay, Cajun Cacti is also here. X Plane 1972 and Jay Callum. All right, so we'll click on the left screen again here. Boop. And we'll go to, let's switch to the Navigraph screen. That's so cool with these buttons. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and I'll just show you what, what I'm planning on doing today. So I'm going to go Add New. And I'm going to name this um, DFW to Austin. I did so much preparation for this stream. I actually have like a full on brief packet for this flight. Like complete with like the even the even the, you know the, the the taxi diagram. Even I even have the amount of Kraken bottles on board um notated here. So I got the ILS possible charts just just to you know, have some reading material as I'm stuck in traffic. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly slant alpha today. So our first VOR is well, I got to in Navigraph you got to put in the airport, and then uh, we're going to do the Keen Nine departure, which essentially we need to notate it as the SID here, and then after the Keen Nine. We're then going to go to Gulf November Lima. And then we're going to go to Tango Papa Lima. And then we're going to go to Charlie Whiskey Kilo. And then after Charlie Whiskey Kilo, we're going to Austin, baby. Austin. So now I'm going to click Verify. And then I'm going to save that. And so now you can see our track here. We're going to take off. Um, from Dallas-Fort Worth uh, 
And actually, we're actually going to fly a 240 heading out to Keene. So I wonder... Well, let's open the charts, and I'll show you what we're doing on that departure. So if I come down here, and I click on SID, and then I find the Keene 9 departure, and I click on it, and then I come down here and click on it down here. Here is the Jeppesen chart for the Keen 9. Uh, basically, it's a takeoff from any runway and fly a 240 heading. And then you're going to get radar vectors to your destination. Ours happens to be Grosbeck, Gulf November Lima. So in the plane, I'll be tuning the VOR 108.8. So that is the Keen 9 departure. You also can bring up the taxi diagram. Uh, I believe we're parked right here. So we'll be taxiing. Uh, we'll be taxiing down probably Foxtrot. Down to runway 18 left. Or we could be doing 3-6 right. I have not checked the weather yet. So click the Stream Deck button. Boom. Back to the main scene. So that's the plan. It's great for controlling chase plane. Oh, I didn't even think about controlling chase plane from the stream deck. Shadow sneaker, that's very good information. Bear Bass, good morning. Rainy Drock is flying the Lufthansa at the moment. Is there meant to be a ghost image of, of a condor on the right-hand side of the aircraft? Yep. <laughs> Gave you uh, any idea why my Project Fly won't connect to the sim? I don't know the RAV, but I will say that um, you reminded me that I needed to uh, bring up my uh, Project Fly. Uh, I would say maybe reinstall Simstall is the first step. And then the other thing is, is that uh, you need to have, I think you need to have the X, the project, uh, let's see here. I think you have to have the XP UIPC, don't you? I think you have to have the XUIPC in your. Is it just not connected at all? All right, again, so we're going KDFW to Austin. I'll click the fly now. We got a subscribe. We got a sub Morning, John Fly. Simpilot13 with the subcribe. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. We're ready to depart. All right. We got a subcribe. Do you ever fly in Europe on VATSIM? I would be honored to have you at Riga. Uh, I heard rumors that they're going to be updating their audio codec. Let's show a few of the outside features just for a moment because... Um, there's just some pretty cool things that happen with this plane. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this uh, slow today. So you get your weight and balance. One of the cool things about this is I can resize that menu. And because I have a 4K screen, it's really handy to be able to do this. Now, in my particular case, my block fuel today is 16103. So I'm just going to hit this plus until it gets us up to total fuel of 16. We'll go 16.333. Okay. And then we'll do. Uh, I don't think I can hit the random until the doors open. So I'm going to come down here. And again, this is the door menu. I'll resize this back down. And then the door menu also is resizable. We got a sub crab. We do have a subscribe. Thank you for the streams and the great peg flights this week.
JT Kerr, thank you for the 10 months. Yeah, the peg flights are, are becoming very popular. Uh, we announced the next one on the uh, 20th of January, so a week from today, I believe. Thank you for the subscribe. I look much better with your beard. Yeah, the beard stays on for a little while. I don't know how long. I, I think till the end of March, but could could be the end of February. So I'm going to open up the main forward entry, and then once that opens up, now obviously the, the jetway is blocking that animation, but we could go on the inside. And so now, the yeah, there we go. The door is open, as you can see. So that's kind of cool to be able to control the doors. Now, yesterday when I was doing some test flying, I tried to open this rear, sir, uh, this rear air stairs. These stairs here, it wouldn't come down no matter what I did. The front air stairs would come on and the cargo, etc. But I learned that you need to connect the ground power and have the ground power connected, you know, basically active on the AC bus in order for the air stairs to come down in the back. So when we have the ground power turned on here in a little bit, I will low, lower the air stairs. But you can open up cargo doors, service doors. I won't open up the forward air stairs because we are at the gate. But as you can see, the the catering can come up here and load up the uh, load up the plane. So the question that I have for any of you out there that may know the answer. <laughs> Is there a ground handling set for this plane? For the 732 specifically? A ground handling set? Because it would be kind of nice to have the trucks pull up. And the Valdude's interior for sure, yep. Good morning, Stork Man. Alright, so the doors, we'll go ahead and close those up. We won't close the main entry yet because we want to do random on our passengers. All right. Okay, so we've got 8167 in each tank. I'm just hitting the random button, getting different passenger loads. What kind of center of gravity am I looking for? 21, 22, or does it matter? I don't know. I need to learn a little bit more. I need to study the manual. This livery is too clean. No no character. It does look brand new, doesn't it? Cessna Rocks does like his liveries clean. That is true. Well, Jack, if you'd like me to change to a particular livery, let me know and I will do that. But I really do like this livery. Maybe he can dirty it, dirty it up. All right, the option menu here, again, you can resize it. Um, I don't know why, but I take off the HF wire. It's this wire across the top here for the HF radio antenna. I don't know why. I, I, I just get rid of it. I don't know why. We'll connect the GPU. I hear the engine starting up on the GPU. Here's where you control your sounds for exterior and interior, interior and also your field of view. Copilot callouts, clock time, yoke visible or not. Pounds or kilos, weight and balance enabled. What does that mean? Oh, disabled, enabled, yep. Cockpit windows dirty or clean. You have a choice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You always cut that wire, too? <laughs> yeah. Center of gravity is relative to the amount of Kraken on board and in glass and how many rocks are in that glass. This is the land of Southwest, Southwest isn't it? I don't think Southwest goes to DFW. I think they've always been love field, haven't they? I could be wrong. So f you want Southwest or you want United? Tell me, Jack, you want Southwest or United? That Southwest paint is, is pretty uh, 
pretty interesting. K D A yeah, K D L D A L is as uh yeah. This is the land yeah, it's the land of America, yeah. All right, so we'll continue down the list of options here. Well, we're done with that for now. Uh, I wanted to take a look, and many of you guys have seen this uh, on other streams. The maintenance menu. This one is not resizable, and you can turn the maintenance on or off, but it controls the airframe, engines, APU, etc. Reports, status maintenance system. I remember the day that you were streaming, Jack, when you were talking about what to name some of these categories. And I think it was Mattia. Mattia B who gave some suggestions and maybe Benny Sim. I think Benny Sim was in there and you you took some of his suggestions. Okay, we will. Oh, can oh that's a, that's another question. Is can we change? Do I have to go back to the flight configuration menu to change the livery, or is there a change livery option from in here? I forget. There's the checklist, maintenance. I think I do need to do it from the menu, but I could be wrong. Flight configuration. Go to customize. It comes with uh, Air Lingus, Air France, Aloha, Fly J Sim, KLM, Lufthansa. This is the custom livery from Cessna Rocks, which I really like. Southwest, United, and WestJet. All right, we'll go United. Fine. Uh, over here, uh, as you saw here before, we have a checklist. This checklist is customizable. I did... Uh, you can, it's a text file essentially that you can go in and edit so you can have your own checklist and uh, yeah one of the lists that comes with the plane is a list that Torbinator worked on it's really good Asmart, good morning you had a lovely bottle of crack in your room. It gets brought out on Friday nights for controlling sessions. <laughs> At Riga, right? Why Aerosoft DFW and not FSDT DFW? Not in... Uh, does FSDT actually make scenery for X-Plane? I'm here. Thanks for waiting for me. But you may now begin the stream. <laughs> hey, B2. All right, let's uh, lower the back stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the overhead, and I'm going to turn the ground power on. I said I'm going to turn the ground power on. Let's go to the options here. GPU card is connected. There it is, connected. Uh, I'll turn the battery on. So you do have to have the battery on. That makes sense. Okay, so now we've got now we've got power. And so again on the outside we're just gonna lower that air stairs just to show you guys that. There are also air stairs on the front. So we go to the doors and we click rear air stairs opening. Again, this will not work without power to the plane. All things work from the ground up, yeah. You're the ground controller, so what could go wrong? I actually am tempted to become a ground controller someday. Look at that. That is some serious animation. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very impressed. But let's get this show on the road, and we can admire that mechanical wonder a little bit later. <laughs> That's really cool. Huh. 
How much is this beast? Uh, I believe this beast, brand new, is $69.95. But if you own the V2, the, pr the prior version, you get it for half off. And there's a code in your, I believe it's in your, uh, on, in your account under your receipt. There's a code for the new one, so you get it for half off. So that would be 35-ish, 34, 95 or something, 35-ish. So good, very good deal for the amount of work. I mean, many of us have seen the streams that uh, that Jack's done um, and Val Dudes and uh, J-Snap. and uh others so um all right let's get this thing started why didn't they animate a person opening the stairs next version v4 <laughs> you should become a controller you are re relaxing yeah i'd like to i'd actually to be honest i'd like to be a pallet edge controller part-time but they uh that won't happen because they don't i just suck all right, we're going to turn the position light on to battery. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put the aft fuel pump on. And I'm going to hold the APU button down. 1,000, 2,000. Get that APU going. We'll watch the temperature rise here. Engine. Uh, is this still considered an engine gas temperature because I see EXH that they changed the acronym oh that's weird test one two hello uh Yeah, that's okay. I'm having a Bluetooth issue here, folks. Look at that. I, I can stand so still. Hold on one second. I can fix this. I am no longer a mannequin. There. I'm no longer a mannequin. <laughs> they let Marcus, so there's some hope. <laughs> Actually, Marcus volunteered to train me for free, and they they haven't taken him up on that yet. All right, so APU has started. Uh, let's put the APU gens on, and let's come over here and turn the APU bleed on. And then, I don't know why, but I feel like turning on the yaw damper right now, and also the galley power. Get that cracking brewing. Emergency exit lights. Closing the guard and also doing passenger signs. Going to auto. Left and right window heats coming on. I could do this from this view, but I figure if I zoom in, it's just a little more immersion into the, t the beautiful textures. Gasper fan on. Test one, two. I do have a beard going on, DB Vetter. Grau Adler, good morning. It's EX, so it's exhaust manifold temperature, pretty much the same as EGT. Okay, that's good info. All right, we'll leave our left pack on, and our right pack will stay off. Bleeds one and two are good. Uh, we'll set up our pressure panel today. We're going to be flying at flight level 240. Um, airport elevation is 542 at Austin, the land of Austin. So we're going to scroll this up to 540. We won't change this to flight yet, though. Let's do a control check. So as I look down here, we got good movement there. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. There's passenger sounds. I think there are windows down there. Ha! I didn't even know that you could do that. Just checking the ailerons. Look at that. I, I set up these views and I didn't realize that the windows were down. That's funny. I did not even know you could do that. Okay, so control check is complete. Set our altimeter. Local altimeter is 3059. So we'll come down here to our altimeter and we'll set in 3059. That's really high. Come over here and set the first officer side as well, 3059.